Welcome back to Code Station 33. I'm your instructor, Mr. McLaughlin, and today we are going to look at building our first circuit using a Arduino board, an LED, and a basic resistor. So let's dive in and take a look. So in Tinkercad, I've created a basic um, sketch, and what I'm going to do is add an Arduino board, and you do that just by dragging it on. You also get the option to name it. So this is sometimes useful if there's more than one board. I'll just name it my board. Then I need to find the other two components. Now the first one I'm gonna use is an LED, but I need to put it on a breadboard. Now a breadboard is a way of connecting different components together in an Arduino but well since I have the LED here I'm gonna drag this over here to use and I'm gonna name it LED 1 and then I can choose the color I want for it so let's choose a nice blue I like blue so we got a nice blue LED and then I need a resistor we're gonna talk more about this in a little bit but we're gonna call this resistor 1 And I'm gonna set the resistance to 330 ohms and we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. So we have our LED and our resistor. The other component that we need is a breadboard. And I want a small breadboard. Oh, let me do that again. There we go. Drag that in. So now I have my breadboard. I'm gonna name that. Now you don't have to name these things, but again, it's that idea of good practice, uh, good skills. Now, when I click on the breadboard, sometimes I get these wires that show up. Uh, eventually, I'm going to need the wires, but if I want to get rid of them now, I want to click about the center of the wire, and I'm going to hit the delete key. To move the breadboard, I have to make sure I'm not clicked into one of these red circles. I have to be clicked onto the breadboard itself, and now I can move the breadboard around. Oh, it looks like my resistor decided to jump in there. So we'll pull that out. I might have to zoom out of this just so I can see my things a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so now I have my board and my components. Let's talk about the LED first. So an LED has certain pieces. It has a plastic epoxy case. It has um, two metal wires in here that are connected with a thin wire. Uh, this has a reflective cavity and there's a semiconductor in here. The most important part for us is that there's two sides to an LED. There's the long side, which is called the anode, and that's the positive side. And I always think of an as an and, like you're adding something together. And then there's a negative side called the cathode, which is the short side. And, you know, cats have a short temper, so you might remember it that way. So there's our LED, the anode is the long side and the cathode is the short side. So I'm gonna put my LED onto the board and you'll notice that the board has these little holes. Now, these are called channels on the breadboard and they're all connected to each other. There's a space um, underneath here where there's a wire running from along all of these. These are also connected but it doesn't go left to right. It's not connected side to side. So this side is separate from this side. So we can see that we have our anode, our positive side, and we have our cathode, our negative side. So we're going to connect the anode to the positive on the board and the cathode to the negative on the board. But before we do that, it turns out that LEDs are not um, happy at higher voltages. So we have to make sure we put a resistor in there so our LED does not get fried by the higher voltage of the battery or the board, in this case the Arduino. So I'm going to take my resistor and I'm going to put it in here, but I'm going to turn it. So I can use these keys over here and just flip it and rotate it a little bit just so I can make it out of the way. And you can see it's connected to terminal one. And now I can connect my LED to my 
resistor. So what we're going to do is we're going to send 5 volts to the positive side of the resistor. And we're going to do that right from the board. So I'm going to click on the 5 volt and you see how it gives me this line to draw? And I'm going to bring it right up here to the end of my resistor. Then I need to go to the positive side of the LED. And if you remember, the positive side of the LED was called the anode. So I can just put a jumper from here to there. And now those are connected. Now the other side, or the cathode, the negative part of the LED, has to connect to the negative part of the board. So the negative part of the board is called the ground. So I'm going to connect the ground to the negative part of the LED, which is right here in this channel. And now I have it connected. Now, that will just turn the LED on. So when I hit Start Simulation, there's no code. I'm just going to send 5 volts right to the LED. And you can see that the LED has turned on. I turn off the power. LED turns off. So we're going to have to write some code in there to get it to work um, so it, it turns on and off. So if we combine our last project and this project together, we could end up getting something that is um, kind of cool in that it will flash this LED on and off. So let's try to do that. So to do this, I'm going to have to take the power from the 5 volts. So I'm going to click on this line right here. And I'm going to delete it. And instead of going to the 5 volts, I'm going to connect the power to pin 13. Remember, pin 13 will also put 5 volts out. So right now, let's look at our circuit. We have 5 volts coming from pin 13 through our resistor connected to the anode of our LED. The electricity goes through the anode of our LED and the circuit gets completed through the cathode to the ground back to the board. The only thing left is the code. So if we click on our code window, oh, back to those blocks again, click on text. We can see, look, it is already set up pin 13 to flip back and forth for us. So let's see, let's close the code window. We can hit start simulation and we should see our light turning on and off. And there we go. We have our first working circuit of our LED turning on and off. Um, also, notice real quick that both LEDs are turning on and off. The LED here and the blue one. So that's kind of cool. Proves that pin 13 is connected to that LED. So that's it for today. Give it a try. Build yourself a circuit. Be sure to share it. If you don't remember how to share it, let me just show you that again. You click on this share button here. You click on invite people and it'll create a link to your project, which you can copy and then submit as our assignment. So that's all for today. I'll see you next time.